Hi, in today's video, I want to talk to you about my Real Performance Platinum Proterra water heater that I bought about two weeks ago. And today, I just want to talk about energy saving options that you have available through this screen on top of the water heater or through your app. I went and tested different energy saving options to see which one is going to be the best uh, money saving options. And I want to share this with you so you can decide which option might be best suitable for your situation. Your water here might be a little bit different. So I'm just showing you what I have available on my 40 gallon water heater. So first thing first, uh, the first button that you need to push is on and off. And on means that you're going to be able to change different settings uh, on the screen as well as on your phone. So in on mode, you can access different settings like energy saving, high demand, heater pump, just pure electric, or vacation. If you turn the water heater totally off, then the water heater technically is disabled uh, but I'm going to explain later that it actually does take a little bit of power when your water heater is in disabled mode. Your Wi-Fi still works, so as I found out later, it takes very little power just to power the Wi-Fi device. In on mode, you have access to all the settings that are available on the screen, and I'm going to go through that and I'm going to tell you which one I found to be the most uh, cost efficient. And of course it depends on your family. I have only two people in my house and most of the time I'm not home. So I'm turning the water heater on basically later in the afternoon. The easiest way to change anything is right on a screen. If you don't want to use the app, temperature right now set at 110 degrees Fahrenheit. You can just bump it up and down. If you want the temperature to show in Celsius, you can do that right on the screen also. The advantage of having Fahrenheit instead of Celsius is that 3 degrees Fahrenheit equals 1 Celsius. So you have more flexibility with changing uh, temperature and the smaller degrees. If you are going on vacation and you're going to leave it like that, where on the wall here you're going to see vacation mode, on your screen, you will see this local away. That means that you are in vacation mode. So if you want to go back to regular modes, you will have to change uh, the equipment settings right on a uh, water heater. It will not work. As you can see, I'm trying to click it on a screen and it does not work. You need to change the mode on your uh, water heater. Now I want to tell you the first very important information. So there is a big difference between off mode and the vacation mode. In off mode, you're going to put the water heater at 65 degrees. So the water heater is going to be working but at very low temperature. If you want to turn off completely, you need to turn on and off button uh, on a water heater or on your uh, cell phone. And this will turn the water heater off it still will take very minimal uh, amount of energy just to power up your Wi-Fi device. My Rim water heater has basic five operation modes. Energy saver, high demand, heat pump, electric, and vacation. As you can see, the most efficient way to operate this water heater is on energy saver because the efficiency is very high. If you're going to have it on vacation, it is also very high, but remember that the temperature is going to be set at 65 degrees, so uh, it's going to be much, much colder. If you want to keep high efficiency, also heat pump mode has pretty high efficiency, although it's going to be very slow to recover the temperature. Now let me show you my real-time tests results so you can see what I'm talking about. If you open your app on your phone, then you're going to be able to see uh, the graph which will represent the energy use uh, throughout the day. And this is the graph for the past about two and a half weeks. 
And as you can see in the first day when I got it, which was on the 9th, I turned it on only for like about, I think, two hours. And this was pure electric and I just wanted to see how much this will affect my uh, electric uh, consumption. And as you can see, I went up to almost three kilowatts. The next day, which was a weekend, I switched to energy saver and energy saver. I tried different options, turning it on and off at different times. That's why you can see that one day I used uh, about two and something and then uh, on the 12th, as you can see, I use barely one and a half. Uh, you can also see like on my right hand side here that you, I was changing different parameters. Uh, as you can see on 14th on Wednesday, I did a test where I used only electric. So only electric healing elements were used. And you can see I was using that from eight to 10. Then I turned it off and from 5.30 to nine o'clock, but it was 115 degrees on electric. And as you can see, for only those couple of hours, I use, well, almost uh, five kilowatts. So it is pretty uh, significant difference when you use electric as opposed to uh, energy saver. Now, I also made an interesting observation that if you keep your water heater or energy saver all day long, you will see that my average uh, power usage, which was, this was on the 15th, uh, it kind of is almost two kilowatts, but when I started to play with it and basically when I'm not home uh, all day long and I only need the water heater at night and now we can see that on the 15th you can see how that power was uh, used throughout the day and those bars represent the power use at the time. Uh, the small spikes right here probably mean that not necessarily any power was used, but there was a power consumption uh, that represents uh, supplying the power to the Wi-Fi device. Uh, those probably higher spikes show actually uh, power usage. Those that you see with dotted lines, those are the power usage from the day before. So you can compare today's uh, power usage to the one that uh, you had uh, the day before. Now you can see that I did another experiment where uh, on the 14th, I was only using uh, water heater on electric for probably maybe two or three hours. Then on the 19th of this month, I did experiment when I used uh, water heater on electric only. I was using my electric schedule uh, three times in intervals of two hours. So basically the whole Water here was used only for six hours per day, which kind of uh, replicates the situation where you may have a water here timer and you would turn it on only for a couple of uh, hours per day and then turn it off to conserve energy. It still takes about five kilowatts uh, of energy uh, to uh, operate for six hours. It's still gonna be much less than if your water heater on electric mode was 24 seven. I suspect that if you run your water heater all day long 24 7 on electric your electric bill will jump probably to about 10 kilowatts so having a timer installed on your electric water heater will definitely save you some money now on the 20th i did another experiment when as you can see i had my water heater turn off manually on the water heater uh, off entire day and I only turn it on for about an hour or hour and a half at night, right before I need it uh, to take a shower. And as you can see, only small spikes of energy show that there was some kind of a energy usage for Wi-Fi during this time up to probably like seven o'clock. I don't know why it didn't show up anything. I used it on energy saving mode for maybe about an hour, but this was really a nominal 0.42 kilowatt usage on a 20th. On the 21st, as you can see, I had it off for majority of the day and I turned it on from 5.30 to 9 o'clock, set at 115 degrees. This was on 21st and as you can see, I got minimal uh, power usage, barely one and not even one and a half. It was probably 1.2 kilowatts. 
So to summarize it, uh, I would say that uh, energy saving uh, option is the most that will save you the money. Uh, if you can turn it off your water heater during the day, it will additionally save you money. And from what I see right now, I'm paying about 10 cents per uh, kilowatt. Uh, my bill this month, I expect to be probably below $10. So in about a month or two, I'm going to make another video where I'm actually going to show you the real uh, amount of energy that I've used uh, for entire month. I still only have uh, the data for about two and a half weeks. So it's still early. I'm going to wait for a month uh, or two, like I said. And then uh, if you want to get the updates, you know, click subscribe and you're going to get notifications on my new videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and goodbye.